guys, welcome back to No Catch Your Name. It's me, Ella. This is episode number 20. Hi. Jesse is right down here, so, and he's talking, so he'll probably be making noises. I'm really stuffy. Like, I feel like my ears are full of cotton. <laughs> so I might be making some weird faces, trying to pop them. <laughs> and I don't know if my voice sounds weird or not, but it probably does. Uh, today is Thursday, November 30th that I'm filming this. It'll come out on December 1st, on Friday. Also, uh, my first episode of my episode, yeah, of Vlogmas will come out that same day. I'm attempting to do Vlogmas. I don't know if I'll be consecutive. I don't know if I'll manage to get every day out, but I'm going to try to get some at least out. And some of them are going to be short and probably boring. <laughs> but, um, oh, my ears are so stuffy. I feel like they're stuffed full. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and get started. I, I didn't really do a lot, I don't think. I mean, I finished some things, but... I just feel like I haven't been crocheting much uh, lately as I would like to. So I'm going to try to start some new projects this week and probably some smaller ones so I can do more of little ones just to try to get my mojo back or whatever. I don't know. I just feel like I've been slacking or something. <laughs> I don't know. But I'm going to start with my finished objects if I can do it without knocking the camera over. I lost a screw to my um, tripod and it's real wobbly so I have to be careful. <laughs> Alright, my first finished object is Santa. I'm not happy with his beard, but I took it off and put it on two times, two or three times. So I'm just leaving it. I don't care. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's handmade. Yeah. He doesn't have a stick in his head, which I, I mentioned that in the other episode. Because I couldn't find him at the time, but then I found him afterwards. So he does have a wobbly head. But he is done, other than his wobbly head. And uh, I didn't do a buckle yet. I guess I need to do that. I may not need it. I think he's cute though. Instead of making felt uh, eyeballs, <laughs> I used I made crochet I like ovals, just because I you know I don't have felt and I like the crochet part. But he is 100% done. He is huge, as you can see. I'm holding him up. I don't know if he's all in the frame. <laughs> His hair and beard took forever. I hate brushing yarn; it takes forever. But he is a paid-for pattern by Mary Smith. Which, y'all know that she's one of my favorite designers. I'm pretty sure I got him for free during one of her cows or something. I don't know. But, um, he's usually only like five bucks, I think. So he's not that bad. Plus, there's coupon codes always. I always say that. There's always coupon codes. <laughs> but, yeah, he was fairly simple. His hat's just sitting on there. I'm thinking about tacking it on and then tacking this down. Just yeah, Santa. Santa. You see Santa? Oh, oh, oh. That's his shoes. Black. Yeah, they're black. You're right. He's eating his veggie straws, so if you hear crunching, that's why. But yeah, I love him. I think he's super cute. I can't wait to have something to sit him on. This year, I won't get to use him as decoration because we don't have any cabinets or anything. Jesse, don't mess with that. Don't mess with that. Stop. Stop. No. No, no. No, no. <clears throat> uh, he was touching my laptop. <laughs> but I want to make Mrs. Claus. She's the same size, and I, I have her pattern. I just I don't think I'm going to get to make it this year. Or at least by Christmas. Well, that would be this year, really. <laughs> but, yeah, super simple. I liked him. My next finished object, I'm trying to not hit the camera. And I get some furniture. We still haven't really got a lot of furniture, and I want to put stuff out, but I can't. Anyways, the elf. I don't know if he's all in either. Meh. Yeah, it's elf. I don't know what the elf says. Santa says, ho, ho, ho. The elf says, hee, 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 Or something like that. <laughs> Alright. I love this elf. I think he turned out super cute. I did the eyes the same as Santa. oval -y things instead of felt. And I made his mouth black because with red I thought it looked weird. He does have a dowel in his neck so he's not as wobbly as Santa. Um, the only things I didn't do on him is I didn't put the belt buckle because I thought he looked fine without it. I messed up his hair because you're not supposed to do the pointy parts up here like bangs and the rest is supposed to be straight. But I actually like the way it looked pointy all the way around. And I did mess up his hat horribly. I somehow did it inside out and something. So I, all I did was folded up the brim and made these, I don't know, poke out different than they're supposed to. Because they're supposed to be like his sleeves. Yeah. But face upward. So I thought it looked good facing that way. I don't know. I like it. I think it turned out cute. Yeah. Quit tapping on everything. But... Yeah, I think he turned out really adorable too. He's, he's about the same size as Santa. They're made all in the same, like, group. 
This is also a uh, Mary Smith pattern. It's paid for. Um, I think I actually did buy this one for the cow that is still going on. This is actually the last week of the cow. Uh, this Saturday she'll pick all the winners and uh, then everybody who participated and completed will get a free pattern. Nope, you don't need that. Ah, sorry, I hit you with the elf head. Stay. Alright. My last crochet. Well, I don't have any more finished objects. Let's go on to non crochet related finished objects. Ooh, you tilted. I'm sorry. I gotta get that screw fixed. <laughs> Alright, I made some project bags. <coughs> this is one. It's Christmas print. Uh, I'm not sure what company or anything this is. It's just Walmart. My sister got it for me at Walmart. It was fat quarters. It just says season greetings. I did block box the bottom. <laughs> And the inside is just red and white polka dots. It's a drawstring, just like all my other bags, because that's the one kind of how to make. Are you hammering? Maybe you shouldn't hammer right now. Come here and get your chips. Come get your chips. You still got some in there. This next one is one that I love, because I love cardinals. You just throw them everywhere. I didn't um, box the corners on this one. I just made it a square. <laughs> And it's just snowflakes with cardinals, and the inside is just snowflakes. Which I think I made, yeah, I made the band snowflakes. And again, it's drawstring. These are each made with four fat quarters, and they, the uh, pattern to this bag, the YouTube tutorial, let's see, don't hit the table, don't hit the table, <laughs> will be like, go hit the wall or the window or something. Go hit something that's okay to hit. Ears are so stuffy. I'm sorry. Y'all tilted again. I gotta find that screw. <laughs> Alright, this is the last bag I made. This one's actually a gift for someone. This is a really cute cartoony looking Christmas one and the inside is just stripes. <laughs> and it's actually got gift in it. <laughs> I'm mailing this to someone who watches these podcasts. But, um, I won't say who. But I gotta put it in the mail pretty soon. I was actually, I went to get um, the money order for our rent today and I was looking at the little boxes to try to figure out which one this would fit in but it's squishy so I could squeeze it down in there. That's the three bags I made. I made those this last weekend with Jesse in the room. He freaked out at first when the sewing machine started uh, making its noise but then he, he got over it. Alright, that's all my finished objects. I only have two whips. Which means I need to work on more whips, <laughs> which I will be. For the first whip that I'm working on is I'm making me some of the little Christmas light garland, like I made my sister I showed last week. Uh, I'm making me some, but I'm gonna make mine. Um, hers was two, right? Yeah, I'm gonna make mine four repeats. So I got three orange. I'm gonna make another orange, and then I'm gonna make four of every color. I actually made another fourth one, but somehow my gauge was off, and it was almost twice as big as this. And I didn't notice it until I finished it, which was annoying. <laughs> so I ripped it out, and I have to start over. Oh, my ears. And my only other whip is my grease blanket. <clears throat> All that Christmas lights, by the way. Hold on, he scrolled. Christmas lights is... Christmas Lights by Jean Herman, and it's a free pattern on Ravelry, but it, it links to her blog. Anyways, the grease blanket. <laughs> I don't know how to hold it. I worked on it a little bit this weekend, but I didn't get to work on it much. It is about a third way done, this part though, this panel. It's super simple. It's only these four colors. That's how much of it I got. Uh, that's still living in my snappy bag. It's just all over there. <laughs> That's the Grease Crochet Along. It's a big corner to corner blanket uh, created by Chaos and Chop Suey. The cow is over, technically, but like only a few people's finished. And there's stuff people posted a lot of uh, videos, videos, pictures on the Facebook group. Oh my god, my ears feel so weird. And talking makes it weirder. Let's see here. That's all the crochet stuff. I got a backspace, all the stuff. He tapped a bunch of nines and plus signs. On my thing. No, I don't want to go. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. All right. All right. All right. Say awesome. Or not. <laughs> All right. Acquisitions. 
Uh, one of the acquisitions I'll have to post up a picture because the edible bits of it have been eating, eaten, or drank, and the other parts of it. Yeah, hold on. No, don't hit the table. It'll shake. The other parts are in my craft closet, and I forgot to dig them out. Jesse, don't hit the table, buddy. Go hit the Christmas tree. Go hammer the tree. Yeah, go get the puppy. What'd you do with the puppy? What'd you do with him? Go find the puppy. <clears throat> Anyways, it was the stuff from Hannah for the um, Get Your Yarn Wishes Granted. That was a hashtag on, uh, not Etsy, what is it, Instagram a week or so ago. That's like a, just a holiday thing where, you know, yarny people give each other free stuff. Hannah granted one of my wishes, which was for stitch markers, which she sent me, but I'll pop up a picture because I forgot to get them out. <laughs> and uh, my other one. You are crunchy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I forgot who sent me this one. I'll have to look on Instagram. The other one came yesterday. I'm trying not to fuck everything over. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I'm going to do some choking. From at sign. Uh, that underscore CDN girl, which I guess is Canadian girl because she's from Canada. Would make sense. She granted my wish of a polymer clay hook and she sent me this one. Which is really cool. I've never had an ergonomic one like this before. So it's neat. Actually, I was using this hook when I made my giant lot and I think the reason it was so different from my other elf hook, because it's the exact same hook, same brand and everything, is because I'm not used to holding this one the same way yet. So I think that's why my gauge was off. So I'm going I ripped it out and I was actually gonna finish that project with um, the original hook I was using and then use this hook doing something else because I need to get used to how I hold this one because I hold it differently than I do my slim hooks. But anyway, this is awesome. She sent it to me. I love it. She also sent me a Christmas card which. I have it put up because Jesse will rip it, but I'm planning on hanging it up once I start getting more Christmas cards, which hopefully I'll get some Christmas cards. Um, we tried to take pictures on Thanksgiving, because that's usually what we do, take pictures on Thanksgiving for our Christmas cards. But Jesse's at that age where he won't sit still, so none of them came out that good. So we're just going to send regular cards to people this year and try photo cards again next year. Yeah. Yeah. You wouldn't look at the camera, would you? Thank you. Oh, he gave me an almost eaten veggie straw. You can eat the rest of it. Bye. Yeah, you eat the rest of it. You already ate all yes. of it almost. <laughs> Alright, that's all the yarn related stuff. <clears throat> I rushed through it a little bit, but that's because I don't feel too good and I want to hurry and get done. <laughs> and I'm so stuffy, I feel like, I feel like I, like I said, I feel like my ears are stuffed full. <gasps> oh, are you okay? You're alright. He just hit his head on the table. And I also feel like, feel like I'm not talking loud, but I'm afraid that I am, so I don't want to like yell. <laughs> but um, I made, I started vlogging today, which I got to continue vlogging after I film this. <laughs> and um, I also made an on-screen video about Ravelry that I'm going to be putting out soon. That's just yeah. uh, how to get free patterns off of Ravelry, because I've seen a lot of people who don't even know what Ravelry is. So I'd be not. I just wanted to show people how to get free patterns off there. Anyways, that'll be a part of Vlogmas, probably. <clears throat> Life updates. Thanksgiving, I know I was supposed to, I said I was going to take some footage, but I ended up not taking any footage at all. I barely even took any photos at Thanksgiving because we were just so busy doing family stuff. Me and Devin, when we went to my mom's, well, we went to his dad's on Thanksgiving Day. We ate dinner, you know, and hung out and stuff. And then we went to my mom's that Saturday because people were busy and working and stuff until that Saturday. We ended up staying at my mom's from like 8 in the morning to oh, like 2 or 3 in the afternoon. And we ate Thanksgiving dinner at 9 in the morning. Yeah. Because we were all hungry by the time we got there. We hadn't eaten breakfast or nothing. And she already had it all cooked. Yeah. So we, all, we ate dinner at uh, for breakfast. <laughs> and um, we played, the men played horseshoes and cornhole a lot. And then I went outside and played cornhole with Devin. We played cornhole five five games and yeah yeah uh, Devin beat me but it was very close 
we played four games and we both won one or two. And then the last game, we both had 20 points. So we did a um, <clears throat> tiebreaker thing or whatever to see who would win. <laughs> yeah. And he won. I really love Cornhole. That was the first time I'd ever played it. It's real big in the South. I don't know if people play it. Bubba, quit yelling, honey. Don't shake the table. No, you can't have those. Those balls are mama's. They're both? No, you can't have those. Those are mama's yarn balls. Here, you want the elf? Mm. You want to play with the elf because his hat's so on. You're welcome. I can't give him Santa because his hat ain't held on yet. Aw, you kiss him. You love him. I gotta name the elf. <laughs> I guess we can name him Buddy, like off an of elf. <laughs> but, um, let's see here. What else did we do? So, I think Saturday, me and Devin went to the skate park. Um, I posted on Instagram. Devin was skating his skateboard. And I was sitting there crocheting uh, the Christmas lights for my sister. <clears throat> Devin was off for five days because he was off four days for Thanksgiving. And then he won a day off, a paid day off during some kind of poker game thing that they play at work. It has to do with how clean their stations are. And apparently his is very clean and he won. Yeah. You turned his head weird. Hey, here's Buddy. His name is Buddy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he fell. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so he didn't go back to work till Tuesday night or Daddy, afternoon. Daddy. Yeah, you're gonna rip Buddy's head Daddy. off, fling him around like that. But um, Daddy, Daddy, Daddy. what is that? Today's Thursday, so not much has happened over the weekend. We uh, we we did go. Sunday night? I think it was Sunday night. It might have been Monday night. Um, we all piled in the car and we went around looking for Christmas lights. Driving just in the neighborhoods looking for Christmas lights and raiding them because that's what we used to do growing up. Me and my mom and my brother and sister. We drove around and rate on 1 to 10 the Christmas lights displays. Quit it! No. Leave it alone. <laughs> um, so me and Devin was doing that. And Jesse was asleep. He fell asleep and napped the whole time. He bad on. <clears throat> and then we, what, 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 we did something. Oh, we went to Walmart and, and in the town next to ours and walked around forever looking at their Black Friday stuff just to see if they had any leftover deals. We didn't buy anything. What? Yeah, we went and we didn't. We finally got a good parking spot and we didn't buy anything. And then we ended up going to Kroger and I got my Friday freebies and um, a couple other like coupon things that we spent like four dollars between the two transactions I did and uh, came home. That was our night out on the town. Devin just left for work a little while ago and uh, yeah. I'm probably gonna get off here and eat something for lunch even though it's like 1 35. Yeah, 1 35. But uh, I guess I'm gonna go ahead and hop off here and then continue vlogging <laughs> and um you don't have to watch the vlogmas if you're not interested. That's totally fine. I'm just doing it because some people have mentioned vlogging. And I just thought it would be fun to do vlogmas. So uh, watch it if you want to. Don't if you don't. I don't mind. <laughs> but if you're just crochet people or yarny or anything, I will see you next Friday, which is the 8th. Yep. For another crochet talk. Oh, Jesse's got to go next Thursday and get his shots. His shot. His last shot. Anyways, I will see you guys. I gotta edit this and get it loading, uploading. <laughs> but I'll see you guys for Vlogmas tomorrow. Or today. It'll be today. Because today is tomorrow. And for Crochet Talk next Friday. <laughs> um, all the links that are usually down below are down below. My Instagram and my Ravelry page and my Ravelry group are all listed below if you're interested. The bag tutorials are both down there. I'm pretty sure the, the Snappy bag is still unavailable, but it'll probably come back. And um, I'll see you whenever. <laughs> Bye, guys.